Oh, hi, baby. I just don't want to wake you up. I brought you a little something from the party. Yeah, little goodie bag, but mm -mm, not right now. You'll open that up first thing in the morning. Just give you something to look forward to. I was hoping you're going to be able to maybe catch some relief and get some sleep in this evening, but still in a lot of pain. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. We missed you. Oh, sweetheart, anytime I ever tell you, now listen, it's very important to me that you understand that anytime your friends ever miss you, when you can't make it out, it's not because we have any bone to pick with you. It's just because we love you so much. We miss you all the time. Even if you hadn't been slated to come out. I mean, we miss you. I miss you when I have to leave for work. I miss you anytime I'm hanging out with other people. You know, we just miss you. We just love you so much. That's that's the catch <laughs> of loving someone. But no, sweetheart, anytime you ever can't make it out, people who love you we understand you know it's just we just always wish we just always wish that things could be better for you you know it's just tragic not to rub salt in the wound here but you just you don't deserve this you don't deserve to be in pain all the time and frankly sweetheart I don't know how you do it you are the strongest person that we know. We talked about that. Oh, yeah. We talk about, not to freak you out, but we talk about you all the time. <laughs> of course, sweetheart. And always, always positive, wonderful things. We just think you're incredible and strong and gorgeous and powerful and inspiring. And, you know, for all these reasons, too makes us even more angry that you have to experience pain all the time. You're just such an exceptional person. Not that anyone, well, I don't know. I can think of a couple awful people that might deserve chronic pain, but not to get more bed right before you go to bed. But for the most part, nobody deserves this, especially extraordinary people like you. All I can do is here, come here. Here, lean into me, sweetheart. I'm just gonna rub your shoulders a little bit, you yeah? know? Down your arms. Just little massages. I wanna do whatever I can do to help at least alleviate a little bit of pain or show support. It's very important to me that you understand exactly how loved you are and that all of your loved ones support you for anything you'll ever need. Anything you need right now. Anytime you talk about it, it's not annoying and it's important to me that you understand that as well, sweetheart. We always want you to talk to us about it. You know, if I come home and say, how are you feeling? And the answer is horrible. It's okay to tell me that. It doesn't ruin my day. We know that you're suffering. And we want to be able to talk to you and take the edge off in any way we can. And if that just means, you know, a shoulder to cry on and a listening ear, and that's all we can accomplish, we want to do that because, you know, we would magically wave a wand and alleviate all of your pain if we could, but we can't. So please, that's the point I'm trying to make is please, sweetheart, let us be there for you. Let us show support or alleviate any pain we possibly can in any way even if that's just emotional it's not too much you are not a burden you are a loved one you are beloved and plus baby you've always got our backs too you know i'm just speaking for myself as well as all of our mutuals you're such a wonderful friend and a wonderful person and fabulous lover yeah i wouldn't be here Otherwise, I promise you that. I have very high standards, you know this, and you meet all of them. So, your pain is never anybody else's pain. We're just always going to wish the best for you, and there's nothing you can do to change that because we love you so much. 
you've earned that concern, if you will. Plenty of people in the world that I do not concern myself with, but you, I make it my business to concern myself with you because you are very much worthy of my attention. And I know that sometimes you may feel as if that's not the case. I know sometimes you put pressure on yourself. Speaking of pressure, how does that feel? Feel good, baby? Good. I know, sweetheart, that sometimes you put pressure on yourself to be more fun, more adventurous, to get out more, do more, whatever, that does not phase us in any way, shape, or form. We're just crazy about you. Hey, story time. I've been thinking about people in my family who have passed away, right? And the people that are often talked about are generally the people who actually didn't have to do much for us to admire them and to reflect upon them and feel inspired by them. Think about it. The people that I feel most privileged to have been a part of their lives are the people that led by example. People who, rather than to have done things for me, were things for me to look up to, right? Like possessed qualities or had built qualities in themselves that I could aspire to. So, you know, whether those skills were resilience or, you know, exceptional listening, support, positivity, adaptability. And don't get me wrong, these, you know, these same wonderful people are generally going to be the same people who, too who do wonderful things for you as well, but those are not the stories that generally come up, you know, whenever we're reflecting on lost loved ones most of the time those stories are simply a matter of weren't they awesome you know weren't the way they navigated their own lives the things they did for themselves right like the qualities that they'd honed and built and you know the core like the the compassionate core of who they were or the courageous core of who they were you know wasn't that inspiring those are the kinds of stories that we discuss and you're exceptionally, baby, you're brave and you're resilient and you're strong and all things considered, honey, you are optimistic. Baby, you're, you are inspiring your friends just by existing, just, you know, by the way in which you are navigating this tremendous challenge of your life. You just being awesome it's plenty, baby. You don't need to put any additional pressure on yourself to be of greater service to the people you love. You know, you are inspiring just by being you. You know, someone explained this to me once because I began to notice that in myself. I began to realize that as I built my own character, as my own character became my primary priority which initially made me feel selfish, right? To focus more so on myself and my healing than to be focusing on philanthropy or you know, t- really prioritizing other people or you know, friends, family, etc. When I started learning to prioritize myself first, I felt really selfish until I began to discover that I was of much greater service to my loved ones in building my own character than I ever was, you know, just in acts of service, right? Like to build my core persona, to build my self-esteem has ultimately helped more of my loved ones, you know, in conversations that we've had, or even them, you know, saying, you know, I was feeling really down about such and such a thing. But then I remembered that time that you did this for yourself. And, you know, it inspired me. Like I've been a much more helpful person in focusing on managing and or you know overcoming my own challenges than I had been previous to that when I was you know martyring or you know like kind of tabling my own needs to help my loved ones and I didn't understand that math 
<laughs> I didn't get it at first, you know, and I talked to someone about it. I said, it's like wild to me that, you know, I felt so selfish about like this, this kind of this experiment I was taking that year and, you know, prioritizing myself and how much better a friend I've been since then and how much, you know, better a loved one and more serviceable to the world I seem to be since shuffling those priorities. And she said, you know, people are like um, lighthouses. She said, the brighter you shine, the better other people will be able to find their way. And I loved that. It, it made so much more sense to me when she worded it that way. And then I thought about, you know, all of my loved ones who have passed and why it is that I feel more inclined to think favorably on who people were as opposed to what people did for me, right? Like, you know, I, I think fondly on certain gifts that were, you know, gifted on birthdays or certain offers here and there and, you know, like... I, acts of service absolutely you know mean the world to me but like i said the reason i love these people was not because they did things for me but because of who they were of who they chose to be and so when you're feeling self-conscious about how much you can give please understand that taking care of yourself actually takes care of a lot more people than we tend to believe you know you're gonna think you're gonna think maybe the math doesn't math but i'm telling you lighthouses baby the more you hone in on shining your own light the healthier and happier your loved ones are going to be in finding their way via that inspiration that's just not to say that we don't love spending time with you but like i said anytime you need breaks anytime you need to stay home or chill or not talk to anybody you know anytime you're in pain and you need to cater to your own well-being you're not hindering anyone you love in any way you're not burdening anybody in fact you're often inspiring the people who love you to you know take account of their own obstacles and needs people love you because you choose to be wonderful period baby you need to put any more pressure on yourself than that <sighs> i'm just so sorry that you know we don't live in a magical world where there's more than we can do all of your fears are valid sweetheart all of your anger I mean, ugh, I'm not even in your shoes and I'm angry for you, <laughs> which is not to say it's the healthiest emotion, but it is what it is, you know, it's, it's valid. Your anger is valid. Your sadness is valid. Your frustrations are totally valid. Every negative emotion you feel in regard to your chronic pain are absolutely valid and you have all of our support. And I just only hope our support goes as far as your love for us does, you know. Yeah, baby, we feel your love. You never have to worry about that. Just hope you feel ours. Hope it takes the edge off even a little bit to feel our love. Yeah, we can cuddle up here as long as you need. Feeling really cozy, actually. Yeah. You're gonna like your goodie bag. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of stuff your friends wanted to throw in there and <laughs> surprise you with tomorrow. Some of it'll make you laugh. But no, I'm, I've said too much. Too much I've spoken. Yeah, sweetheart, just cozy up with me. Just feel these little baby massages into your muscles. Relaxing every fiber of your being. There you go. Hmm. There you go. 
Okay, you stay comfortable. I'm going to go get you some water, okay, sweetheart? Yeah, just keep breathing. I'll be right back. A little more massage will do, I think. <laughs> yeah, as much as you want. As much as you want, baby. My massage skills are at your disposal. But only yours. Don't tell anyone that I'm good at this. <laughs> Otherwise, what would we do? Mm -mm. Just for you. Just relax. I'll be right back, baby. 